Hi, welcome to something for the weekend. This is a a weekend version of Cutting the Caboose and it's where I'm going to be covering other things that I'm interested in. Um, games, technology, um, whatever. Uh, regulars will know that I've been working on sound at the moment. The, cam the lights, the camera, that's all coming nicely. I'm not going to change my camera now until the um, Lumix G5 comes out early next year, so I'm going to keep with this for now. But sound I can do a lot of work on. Now, so far I've been recording everything onto the camera. And it's a bit rubbish, to be honest. I've, I still can't get it quiet enough and I can't get the sound just the way I want. However, I decided that my knowledge was somewhat limited. Even though I've been in, interested in sound uh, in terms of hi-fi for a long time, I have had an understanding of sound recording in a studio environment that hasn't really been updated since, oh gosh, a long time, since I think I got as far as DAT. Um, and that was kind of the end <laughs> when I started doing, you know, multi-track recording. So I looked online and I found a little course by somebody called Curtis Judd. Um, very clever, very knowledgeable guy, seems to know everything and had at his recommendation, or rather because of the information that I gathered from his course, I have bought myself one of those. This is a Zoom H6 multi-track field recorder. It's very, very good. It's far better than the sound I'm recording off the camera. It has multiple microphone inputs that allow me to do so much more than I'm currently doing. So I'm gonna unbox this and let's see what we've got. I've, um, I'm quite excited about this. I, lo I love new tech, I love new toys. And um, doing this video, doing this YouTube channel allows me to have new tech uh, and put them to good use. So it's kind of a win-win. Okay, so. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in the box. Okay. So that's an empty box. So we have a, a, rather, a rather chunky user guide. And some stickers. Is that always nice to put everywhere? And look at that! How nice is that? It's like um it's like a hard case. Let's pop it open. Ooh. So everything is um, is packed really nicely inside. I don't know how well you could see that. We have some batteries four batteries, a, um, a pop filter, a little USB cable, a micro SD memory card, I think that's two gigabytes, two gig, that should be plenty for sound. Then we have, so the recorder itself, that's packed really neatly, that's packed really neatly. Oh, it's much smaller than I expected actually, it's tiny. <laughs> hmm. How nice is that? It's so teeny. It looks like a little speaker on the back. Oh, the pots are lovely, easy to use, good buttons. And then on the top here, we have um, the, the microphones that come with it are uh, um, like a cartridge. So we have this, which is, I don't know. I think it's a stereo microphone, I'm not sure whether it's a cardioid or whether it's dynamic. The little plastic protectors on the ends there. So if I pop those off. <laughs> it's so nice. And there's also these um, I don't actually know what these are. This is this is the microphone that it's usually photographed with. I don't know what sort of microphone it is, to be honest. It's called the XY Stereo Mic. And usually when you see this in brochures or advertisements, it has that microphone attached to it. So I don't, I don't actually know what they're for. However, the main thing that I want this for is, see if you can see on the side there, 
that actually has XLA audio inputs and it provides phantom power. So it's basically a high quality recorder and it provides four channel XLR inputs. Plus you can get a module for the top for an extra two channels, which I don't need. And you can also get a, shot, uh, a shotgun plug-in for the top. So if you wanted to use it as an interview microphone, you could hold it down an interview. Or a wireless module. There's all sorts of things available for this. And I'm hoping that it'll make my sound much better than it currently is. Um, I've switched now from, I was using the microphone in scoop position using a foam deadener. The microphone is now overhead. Um, which is quite good actually because it means this area is now free for me to put this little table so I can do these sorts of things. So I'm going to hook this up and let's see how we get on. I'll be back shortly. So I've set the zoom up but I'm also recording the old camera audio which I'm going to switch back and forth between. So what you're hearing at the moment is the standard audio that you'd get from the camera. Now obviously this, wouldn't, this isn't as good as it would have been previously. And now we have the audio from the Zoom H6 using the same microphone as before, it's the um, Audio-Technica something, studio microphone and straight into the Zoom H6 with a limiter, a compressor and I've played the recording back and it sounds amazing the hiss and noise I was getting off the camera preamp and off the little desk I was using I'm getting none of that, there's still some ambient noise, I can still hear my fan in the background I'm just going to turn that off and see what that sounds like. So that's the fan off completely. The only thing is it's really warm in here so I get sweaty. So either I want to quiet a fan or I've got to live with a little bit of background noise. Let me turn that back on. So there we are, this is the Zoom H6, my new go-to recording buddy. I love this thing, it's so tiny. I'm just going to take a picture here because this is so cool. This is how it looks to me, right there. So I have this thing actually set up on my microphone stand. You can't really see it there, but it's right there. It's, it's right there. So I can check my audio quickly. I can stop and start the recording. All my sound is now self-contained in this part of the room. And the video is over there. You leave the camera recording because then when you come to synchronize it on your video later, it's very, very easy because you can just synchronize by the sound. You haven't got to look for limps, limps. You haven't got to look for lip syncing. It's a uh, Premiere Pro does it for you. So there we are, that's the Zoom H6. Leave your comments below and please subscribe, like, share, send me questions on Instabook or Facegram or whatever, tw Twitter me, and I'll be happy to chat. Uh, I love getting feedback from you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you like the Zoom H6. I do, and I'll speak to you all next time. Bye bye.